RL Bottom is catching up with the talented Miller's Border Collies. They have a big show coming up this week. Hey, Al. <laughs> Hey, Claudia, I am out here in the West Wing building. In the far left, you can't really miss us because I'm here with Alan Miller with Miller Border Collies. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. So, I mean, obviously the dogs are a big draw and you've been here for nearly 50 years. So you've been part of this tradition. What's that been like? Well, I started when I was too young to work the dogs. <laughs> My dad, Harold Miller, started this way back with Mr. Jack Crowner on the 530 agriculture show in the mornings and 50 years later you and I are standing here doing a television interview. <laughs> that is so cool and you know why border collies? Why did your dad start you know the border collie business? Well he did not know at the time but border collies in our opinion are the best herding dogs available and so he had to have help on the farm. He was teaching, raising a family, trying to pay for a farm, and the Border Collie is the best herding dog that a person can have. Well, speaking of the dogs, let's actually turn around and meet some of the dogs. Who do we have over here? Well, oh, the, the, this is Johnny. Johnny is from England. Okay. Uh, and he spilled his bucket of water. Johnny, you're kind of messy. <laughs> this is Tip. Uh, Tip is from, uh, West Virginia. Okay. That's, and Joe, the big black dog, he is 10 years old. Joe is from Alabama. Okay, so quite the world travelers, yes, I yes, see. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and they actually herd ducks, so why ducks? Well, ducks are easy to carry. We have a, a limited space here. Uh, I can keep 30 or 40 fresh ducks all the time. And so, uh, and it's different. It's different. I think people like to see the ducks. There's a, an, a comical entertainment value to the ducks, yes. and it's easier for me. Yes. And we were talking about earlier how sometimes four generations come out and see this show. So what's that been like? You know what? I have people that say, we've been coming to see you for 30 and 40 years. They bring their children, they bring their grandchildren, they've brought their great-grandchildren. So there's just something about this little demonstration that appeals to people. That's awesome. So I would love to see the demonstration. So let's go out and get Rocco. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get Roscoe. He wants to work. Roscoe, we, oui. so Roscoe is going to go get the ducks. There he goes. Roscoe is going to bring the ducks to us. Lie down. Roscoe, walk up, walk up. Of course, and later on today, we'll be putting the ducks through their little, our little obstacle course here. We'll do it four times today. We do have a schedule. Check the fair schedule. We want to invite everyone to come back to the livestock area. Look at the agriculture. I think agriculture is very important to Kentucky. Absolutely. And, uh, we, uh, we're, we're glad to be here. Absolutely, I'm so glad to be here. This is my very first time out at the Kentucky State Fair. Certainly come out and watch these dogs do their thing with the ducks. But for now, back to you, Claudia.